Okay, tonight I want to discuss, uh, take a look at a simon in Shulchan Aruch, simon nun hey. A lot of interesting halachas, which I all the dinim here in Egea, la halacha la maisa, discussions about minyan and kaddish and having ten people, what happens if the ten, some people leave the room, whether you can finish what you're saying, whether you cannot finish, very important halachas. So I thought we take a look and learn the Shulchan Aruch, Simen on Hay. The page is Kuf Tzadik Dalad, the page number. In a Kaddish. Yeah. The title is Dine Kaddish. <coughs> Kuf Tzadik Dalad. Page Kuf Tzadik Dalad. Dine Kaddish, a boy, Chof of Sifin, are 26 Sifin. Aleph. Why do you Kaddish b'chol mokim? She's a half-sip, you say that feeling. When do we say a Kaddish? Just whenever we want the davening, we say a Kaddish. The Kaddishim are set up anywhere where there is a change in the tefillah, where there is a new tefillah starting, a hefsik. There is a, a new section starting, so we say a Kaddish. We say at least seven Kaddishim every day. Like we say in Tehillim, at seven times a day, Sheva by Yoim, seven times a day, Hilotucha, we praise you. It's combined Rabbanon and. Um, You're going to see. Not the Kaddish Yasin. Oh, not yet. No. Just the ones which were Chayev in. Ones which are part of the Seder Tfilah. The Elohim, these are the, the seven. Aleph 1, Acher Psukid Zimra. After Psukid Zimra, after Yishtabah, Shashamu Hefsik Seder Psukim. Well, then we stop, we finish saying all the psukim. So we say one Kaddish. Bez, the second one is Acher Siyim Tfilil Ches. When we finish Shemana Esrei, she mitzvah, and that's a separate mitzvah. We need Dvukim HaShachreya. It's not connected to what we say later. So it's a separate part. So we say Kaddish. You know, Sfaradim, after Pritum HaKetoret in the morning, we say Kaddish? Yeah, of course. Because you said Mishnayis. Kaddish to Rabbanu. It's, yeah. No, but no, we also say before and after Yish, Rabbi Shmuel Eimer. Right. 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 But, but you, you, you just said no before Well, here it doesn't talk about that Kaddish. That Kaddish Rabban. That's not an Iker Kaddish. Gimel. Acher Seder Kedusha of al Kedusha of al You're going to see. Later on, we, we, we're going to talk about other Kaddish. The seven Kaddish, which are a of an obligation, are these. The one that we say before Haidu, after Kaddish Rabban, is not a let me see, it's a minute. Third one is Gimel Acha Seder Kedusha Svalatsin. We say Kedusha Svalatsin, right? We say Kaddish Baruch and Yimlech in Svalatsin. Shugam King Darush of Kedusha. After that, we say a Kaddish. The fourth, Dalit Achri Ashrei La Mincha. After Ashrei Mincha. So for Shachris, it's only three Kaddishim Arachiv during Shachris. The fourth one is after Ashrei before Mincha. She mits from the Atzma. Chazal tell us, anyone who says the, the, the Tehillim of Tehillah Ladavid three times a day, he's promised to have a portion of Elam Haba. So it's a special thing. So as soon as you say Tehillah Ladavid, you can right away say a Kaddish. Hey, after Mishnah Asrei, it's a mitzvah for itself, davening. That's a two for Mincha. We say one after the Berchus of Kishim Arvis, right after Ashkivain, we say one. Zayin Acher Tfilas Arvis, Shekan Shalat Tfilas, after one after Mairev, when we finish Davening. Zayin Elu Hain Choyva. These seven are a Chiyuv. Kishim Espalim B'Tzibur. Vashar Minig, and all the other ones that we say are only a Minig. V'roi Luchol Adam Lizar, Shei Livchei Smilan, Es Yud Kadeshim Chol Yoyim. It's Roy every day for everyone to say, to answer at least 10 Kadeshim. But of those 10, only 7 are a Chiyuv. The other 3 are a Minig. So it's Roy to hear, hear 10 Kadeshim a day. Okay, that's regarding Kaddish. Now, Kol Darash of Kedusha Sebei is given Kaddish, O Baruch Hu, O Kedusha, and Amir and Pachs Masara. Anytime I want to say Kaddish, Baruch Hu, Kedusha, we can only say it with ten men. Shenema, like it says in the Apostlech, when Ikdashi be made holy amongst Kala Yisrael, 
how, what, how, much, how much B'nai Yisrael do you need in order to say a union of Kedusha, to make Hashem holy? Well, by, by Parsha Shlach, by the Miraglim, it says, that everyone should stay away from this congregation, this Eida. Well, the maiden, how many people were in the Eida of Miraglim that spoke against it? Israel? Ten. Kalev and, and Yeshua didn't. The maiden, Gezeir Shabba, Toyk, Toyk. Like one of the Lamud in the 13 ways that were Doirish is Gezeir Shava. So it says, Mekdashi Betoich. Over here it also says, Toich Hibadum Betoich Eida. Ma Toich Omer Lahalm Eida. Just like by Hibadum Betoich Eida, that Toich meant an Eida of 10. Av Toich Omer Khan Eida. Also over here, when it says, Mekdashi Toich Bene Yisrael, it's an Eida. The Ain Eida Pachus Masara. It's only 10. Shanema and Mosai Le Eida Hara Azois. How. How long will we have this evil congregation? How much how much of a congregation was it? It was only ten people. Same name Yeshua. Call of Take Ishum, call of Nisha Asara. And how about the Rov Am Hatat Melech? Is not ten? You can have more. But I have on this Melech is the more the more you add is the more better. You do more and more and more. Every person that comes. But the minimum ten. Right. The Aidazu Sarah Li is Kula Mischarim Bnei Khoidin Gidoilum. Shavir ibn Isaidis. You need to have this congregation is from ten men, adults, who have already already thirteen and they already grew two hairs in their private place. That was the Eida that was by the Miraglum. They don't they don't combine. Uh, here I tell you a story. We one time I think said the story here, but we had a story once I was uh, as a bacher. Um, some uh, 15 years ago or so, so while we were sent on a shlichis in California to a city where there was no uh, shul there, there was no rabbanim there, to go mekar v'yidin during the summer. So we lived nearby, by the shliach's house, in a nearby city, and then by day we would drive to this area in Newberry Park in California, the north, and we would... Uh, looking for customers. Listening for customers. During the day, we would knock on people's, uh, we would go to people's stores, and we would say, anyone Jewish here? Hi, how are you? Anyone Jewish? And all the guy would point to that Jew and say, that's the Jew. <laughs> and we'd rather right grab him. And we'd see if he wants to put on tefillin, he wants to learn, if he wants to buy a mezuzah or a safer. We had in the trunk some svarim with us. It's called Merkish <laughs> Anyways, and in the evenings, we would, call, we would call people up, and we would ask them if we can come meet them in their house. And so we would try to make appointments. Anyway, so we over here as we went from store and one store we went into and there happened to be a Jewish guy there, you know, not religious at all. Um, his name was Mark. Anyways, we we're having a nice chat with Mark. We were talking about things, and then we started to talk about Yiddishkeit. When we talked about Yiddishkeit, he was getting agitated, and he said that you know, I I'm not religious. And I don't uh, leave me alone. But, but 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 he says, you know, that the main thing for me is that you have to be a mensch and you have to be a nice person, a good person. And um, he got very he's very upset with orthodoxy and he's very upset. And he started this whole and he tells me the story how he has a neighbor who's a rabbi, conservative rabbi, uh, older conservative rabbi, and happened to be we also met this rabbi when we were in the town. And this older conservative rabbi asked him to help make the minion there Monday and Thursday. The conservative, they're not so into coming uh, <laughs> Monday and Thursday. Still. So there was a conservative temple, there weren't too many people come Monday and Thursday, they were struggling with the minion. So it was a very big temple, a huge temple. So they had difficulty. So he asked me to come help him. So he said, that I don't really care for this, it's not, I'm not religious, I'm not even conservative, he's saying, but you know, the rabbi, older person, he asks, respectful, be nice, be a mensch. So I went, Mark, this Mark went to go help make the minion Monday, Thursday. Nice. He had a Yiddish and a Shama. So the Maise, say, he said that one day he was there, and, uh, they, they, you know, on Shabbos, they dive in the, in the big uh, temple, and then, then, then during the week, they have in the smaller room on the side. And he was, uh, they were, a Holocaust survivor came to Davin that day to say Kaddish or his parents that were killed in the Holocaust. And it turned out there were only nine people. So the rabbi told me, Mark, please go search around the temple. Maybe find someone that can join us, come inside to the... Here. 
I looked around, I went into the big sanctuary that we, we dive in there on Shabbos, we pray there, and I saw an Orthodox Torah cleaner. He was cleaning the Torah scrolls. This was his words. It was like a cipher. Some was an Orthodox Torah cleaner. He was cleaning the Torah scrolls. So I went over to him and said, could you help us make the minion? He said, sure. So he got up, he came in. And he came towards. He came to the room, he looked inside, and he sees that there's women who are part of the minion. They were wearing tefillin also and everything, you know, but there was women part of the minion. So he said he can join the minion. So, uh, his brother is Mark, probably. So, so this Marks was very, they were very upset. He said, we have a Holocaust survivor who came to say Kaddish for his parents. He's 90 years old. And you can't come in? He said, no, I can't come in. This is my beliefs. I can't come in. And, and they, he was very upset. And he, and, he, and, he, and he really started to get all, all heated up. And he tells me, I don't understand. This is all the Judaism is all about being nice and being merciful, making someone feel good, and this is what it turns to Judaism, is, it's so cruel, orthodoxy, and what, what do you do to this man, the Holocaust survivor, how did he do what he do? So I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to tell him? Am I going to tell him, Api Halacha, he can't, it's not going to explain anything to him, he's not going to, so I was really a little bit stuck over there, how am I going to get through to such a person, he, with his mindset, and you know, it was for him a hard situation. So Hashem helped me that moment, I said to him, Mark, Tell me, you didn't let the man say Kaddish? He said, no. He said, how cruel could you be, Mark? How come you don't let the man say Kaddish? They're without minion. He says, what do you mean? We had no minion. I said, who cares about the minion? We let him say Kaddish. Such cruelty, I said to him. Ooh, you got him he right. was shocked. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, the same Torah that says we need to have 10, 10, says you need to have 10 men. Either you go with the system or you don't go with the system. He's like, I said, you didn't say Kaddish, Mark? He's like, Rabbi, you're right. <laughs> good, good, good answer. There's some halacha discussion yeah. about whether or not the, the mitzvah of Kiddush Hashem to can count the women into the minion. Again, again? For the mitzvah of Kiddush Hashem and Ekdashti, when you say yeah. Kaddish. Uh -huh. Interesting. Say this again? What? Someone gives him his life, a Kiddush Hashem, so the difference between it's in private or it's in public in front of 10 people, and a crowd of people see you sanctifying God's name, that they're forcing you to worship uh, idols of Edezara, and the person uh, gives his life away. So he's saying that there's a discussion whether the 10 people which are there, observing, have to be dafka 10 men, or, or even women can be part of it. But 10 women can make a minion. No, no. This is what I heard. No. No. We'll, see so, we'll see soon a little bit more. The room, they can, can make a zimun. They can make a zimun. Yeah, we'll see soon. They can do zimun. We'll see, yeah. so, we'll see soon a little bit about women, but not ten. Well, my see, you have to have ten men. So, the Eida Zu, yeah, Siv Gimel. Now, what happens? You started off the minion with ten. But then, some people run out of the minion, they have to go. In Hischel, Loimer, Kaddish, and Kedusha Basara, you started saying Sif Gimel. You started saying Kaddish and Kedusha 10 people. The Yatsum Iksasam, some of the people left. What do you do? You're allowed to finish. Goimim Oise HaKaddish Oise HaKedusha Hiskel. Whatever you started, you can finish. Vuhush and Ishtaya Ruban. As long as you have Rav, six. Six of the Mingan. Mikol Mokim, Aveirahi. Lot says, it's still those people that leave, it's wrong. They should not be leaving, they should wait till the ending. While lay a memory on these people, it says in the Pasik some harsh words. Yeshaya, Oizve Hashem Yichlu, those that uh, leave Hashem should disappear. But if there is ten people left without you, you can go out. This Pasik is only said if there are only ten people and you're leaving them. But if there's 10 people already there, you can leave the room if you have to go. Anyways, but what happens if someone for some reason left, they didn't know about this halacha, and they left the room, it was an emergency, someone left, you're allowed to continue as long as you still have majority of the minion there. Now, what, is, what does it mean starting Kedusha? At what point do we mean, do, do, do they actually consider like you start Kedusha? Here in Siftalad, we're going to clarify more. Lo yishihischa Kedusha atzma. It doesn't mean you actually have to start the Kedusha itself. Elafilu hischol birches aves. Even if you started the birches aves, bekoil ram, you started Chazar Sashatz, you started saying the Chazar Sashatz, the first word, Baruch Atah Hashem, that's Baruch of Aves, because Magen Avram. 
the first one, we talked Kei Avram, or Kei Yitzchak. You started saying that bracha of Chazan, Miyatsa you had four people left the room, and now you're left with just six people. Goimer Afilu Kedusha, you can finish and say Kedusha. Chol to the entire Chazan of Shatz, you only have six people in the room. The Seder Kedusha Savalatsiyan, the Kadash Achrel, Shalei Basara. You can even say the Kedusha of Avalotzian, Kaddish Baruch Yimleich, which is also a Kedusha. And you can say the Kaddish afterwards. Because all of this is part of all a continuation. Well, what do we say the Kaddish after Avalotzian? We say to scav Valtzlois and let our tefillahs be accepted. Our, 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 the Kaddish is set on the Shemun So all of this, you can say all of this without a minion. You have just six people in the room. You can say all of this. Most people doesn't know Shep- this halacha. No. Most people doesn't know this halacha. Yeah. Well, we shouldn't have to come on to it. You know, there should always be ten there. But if someone left, yeah, you have to know what to do in such a situation. I was in the show one time. This was four left, and then it continue. Everybody say yachid. Yeah. Now, right. The calls of gemar to zeches. All of this is the finishing up of shmeresri. That's why we don't say Kaddish Shalom. What is Kaddish Shalom? Kaddish Shalom is what you say after Shemun We say after Mincha. We have to say Tachna. We say Kaddish Shalom. Tidkabal. We say after Mayriv, Tidkabal. After Shachris, we say Tidkabal. We don't say it right away. It's after Volatzim because all the continuation. Because we always say a Kaddish Shalom, a Kaddish Tzkabel, right after Shemun Why the Kaddish so, is in Aramaic and not regular Hebrew? I don't recall the reason. Good question. V'oi say Kaddish Shalom, Choyzer, Atfilos Yitchaz, She'er Mit Tzkabel Slays. This Kaddish Shalom that we say, after all the scene, is really referring to Shemun Esrei. By the way, if I recall correctly, Rabbi Kiva Eger, over here, uh, one of the foremost Paiskim uh, and, and, and uh, Goinim. Shokhanarach, I think he has a discussion whether or not you're allowed to say the half a Kaddish, which is, we say the Chatsi Kaddish after Tachlan. You're allowed to say that without a Mingin because the that's not Lav Dafke has to do, it's not saying that it's Kabul Dafke. Altarev doesn't say anything about it, seems that you could say it also. Now, what about saying Shemun Esrei? What happens if it's a Monday or Thursday? I'm at Kriya Satayra. I mean, you're allowed to say Kriya without a meaning? Mekomokim im hu yom ha-Knisa. If it's a day of the Knisa, the day when you gather, on Mondays and Thursdays, in Koyim B'Toyra. Im holchum ekzos in Koyim S'chil Lekris. If before you read the Torah, already a few people left, you can't read Kriya Satayra. Shakriya in a Begmar Tefillah. Kriya has nothing to do with Tefillah. It's a separate thing. What do you do by Mincha? When we lay in by Mincha, when do we, when we take a Kriya Satayr by Mincha on Shabbos or on a Tainus, we do the Kriya Satayr before Mincha, not after Mincha. So it's not connected Dafka to the Shemun Esrei. You could say it before, you could say it after. The Kriya Satayr is a separate entity. So therefore, just because you had big people in the beginning of Shemun Esrei diving with you, does not mean, allow you to say Kriya Satayr without a meaning. It is cursed for the Torah if you don't have a meaning to read the Torah. So, like so, okay, so now it does not help us for Kiyosa Torah, but it helps us for everything to laugh the world at The Cheinim Yotz Miksos and Laach is Shizchilu Yoytzer. What happens if they le- some of them left after you started Yoytzer Oyer? Birchus Kiyoshma. Liyatz Chal Shitzim and Spal Tvil Koram. Just because you had 10 people for Kaddish and Baruch Hu, it's not going to allow you to say Chazar Sashatz. That's not going to help you. Same thing my Mayrev, very important halacha Rabbi say. Sometimes you have it in Mayrev where, where someone, you know, uh, we, we sometimes over here grab someone to join us for the Mingin because it's a, a small Mingin and, and he somehow he needs to leave. Uh, or he, he leaves in the middle of Shemun Esrei, and now we're left, we start after Shemun Esrei, we only have nine people, right? 
you're allowed to say the Kaddish right after. The first Kaddish, you're allowed to say. It's a chiv to say Kaddish. Since you started Shman Esrei with 10 people, the Kaddish, it's all one unit. Even it's one unit. You can finish the Shman Esrei. We don't say Chazos HaShatzah by Meirah, but you could say the Kaddish afterwards because in the beginning of Shman Esrei, we had 10. But if you had 10, by Berchus Kriya Shema, it's not going to help you by Meir. You have to have by the actual starting of the Shema Nesri. Loidai v'me sheho yu asara b'shayas Kriya Shema b'chesel. It's not enough that you had 10 during Kriya Shema and it's Berchus. Avo Kaddish yilif meit v'luches, yoyim rik sheho yu asara v'tchilos arvis, avo bishi yotsam ekzosan achekach. However, interesting, you're a lot, what happens if you had in the beginning, you said Kaddish and Baruch Hu in the beginning of Mayrif. And you had ten people. Then some people left. But you still had six people. When it comes to Shman Esrei, you're allowed to say the Kaddish before Shman Esrei. The Kaddish after Hashkivenu. Shami Yisrael Adi, you're allowed to say the Kaddish because that Kaddish is a continuation from Birchas Kriyushma. In the beginning, when you started saying Birchas Kriyushma, you had ten people when you said Kaddish and Baruch Hu at the beginning. So as long as in the beginning of Meir, the beginning of Berchus Kriyashma, by Meir of Harov, and you had ten people, you're allowed to say that Kaddish. But by the way, you're not going to be allowed to say the Kaddish after Meir. Because that you can only say the Kaddish Shalom, the Kaddish is Kaddish Meir, if you start at Shman Esri with ten mm-hmm. people. So whatever you start with, you can finish. So if you start at Berchus Kriyashma with ten by Meir, you can finish Berchus Kriyashma and say the Kaddish at the ending of Shema Misolat. But that's all it will allow you to say. You can't say the Kaddish after Shman because it's a separate entity. If one guy left. If someone left, right? But Shman Esri, if you started the Shman Esri with 10, you can finish, the, you could say the Kaddish afterwards because that Kaddish is packaged deal with the Shman So even though you don't have 10 people, you can say it. Now what about the Kaddish after Oleinu? People are saying Kaddish Yosem, right? That you can only say, there's no hetero to say if you don't have 10 people actually there by the Kaddish. Because this Kaddish is only a minic. Like we said, the Chi of Minadin is to have 7 Kaddish. All the rest are Minadin. Therefore, any other additional Kaddish, this whole, this, all these Heterim don't apply. The, even though you started Aleinu with 10 people and someone left before the conclusion of Aleinu the Yasim is not going to or whoever is saying Kaddish at the ending is not going to be allowed to say Kaddish Yasim after Aleinu even though you started off Aleinu with 10 because that's only a minig that's what he's going to say here if you had 10 during Aleinu three lines from the bottom of the page it will not help you for the Kaddish after Aleinu. It's only a minute to say Kaddish after Aleinu. It's not an actual act of Chachamim. Same thing as the Kaddish to Skabal that you say, the Kaddish to Rabbanon, that we say after Ein Kelokeinu. Hashem Yivarach Samir V'Shalom. Or the Kaddish you say after Bishmol Oimer, Shei Yibana Beis Hamikdash in the morning. Before you do, you're not able to say that without ten people. It's also a minig that we say after we learn a Mishnah, after we learn Mishnayis, and Rabbi Shmuel Oimer is a brayz of Rabbi Shmuel and all those Mishnayis that we say from the Seches Vachim about all the Karbanis. That's a Kaddish, special Kaddish Rabbanu you say after limit, or what we say after Inka Lekain or Pita Maktoridus Tanas Velio. That you can only say when you actually have ten deer during the Kaddish. Who did the Kaddish? I have a question. It said. The Ida is only 10 because the Ida doesn't include Yeshua the Khalif. Unless the Ida Razis. Is that because Yeshua and Khalif didn't do Ra? They weren't part of the group, yeah. They weren't part of the group, but they're. So they're black. They, when Hashem directed, when the anger was directed, it was directed on, a, on, a, on a Ida, the, the bad congregation. Bad was only 10. Okay, but could it be like, even if he, they could be included in the congregation, but they did good, but it's very Ra, so Ida Ra. Eid Hara, that uh, you know, it's a good question. Not always, you know, in general, in Torah, it's interesting to know, but not we, we generally say we go after majority, right? 
But not everything is right. A person can't say, uh, I have six people, so I have a minion. No, you need ten people, right? We do actually say that if you started with ten, what are we saying today? If you start with ten, and you're left with roiv, with six people, then you can be mamshich. If you start with ten. But, you know, we sometimes say roiv is enough. Let's say shechita. You don't have to, you have to caught by an animal, behemoth, two of the samadim. You have to do majority, roiv is enough. You don't have to cut the full 100%. Rav is enough. Rav, Rubi Kekuli. Are we going to say, if you have a, a mikvah, a mikvah needs to have 40 saw. Are we going to say, if you have 21 saw, it's considered a good mikvah, you can tell you 41, 21 saw. No, you can say, yeah, only can, only can tell you you have 40. If you have one less than 40, a little bit less than 40, you have a problem. So, the Akhrayim discuss, it's not, we don't always say the concept of Rav. I don't want to get into it, but they generally say that whenever the Torah demanded a physical number of 40, you can't have 21. 21 is not 40. 40 is not 21. Whenever the Torah didn't give a number, let's say a behemoth's neck. A behemoth's neck has no mathematical number to it. Every behemoth has different measurements. There's no number to it. So when there's no number to it, you're dealing with a cheftze. You're dealing with an item, vir we can apply the concept that the majority, mm. having the majority is considered like you have all of it. For example, there's a, we drink four koises on uh, Pesach. Pesach, right? <coughs> so, <coughs> the minimum amount to be considered a koises is a revius, have oh. a revius, which is different shitas, but according to some sh- small <coughs> shitas, 2.9 ounces. That's consus a revius of yain. You can't have any less. But if you have more, so on Pesach, there's a special Indian on Pesach over Kiddush, and a regular Kiddush, we say you drink a majority of a Revius. No matter how many big your cup is, you drink a majority of a Revius. Let's say a lot of our cups today, the Bechers that they provide here, based on a B'chayim Lo Shir, which is a smaller Shir of a Revius, let's say it's 2.9 ounces. So a lot of cups here could have three, three Shirs, big Bechers. The people, the silver stores want to make money, so make some nice big Bechers. And you have three shiurim in there. It means you have to drink majority of the cup every Shabbos? No. One only has to drink a roiv of a revius. That means roiv, a majority of 2.9. Yeah, that's 1.5 ounces. And you're good to go. Maloy lugma, that's maloy lugma of a cheekful. It's a majority of a revius. No matter how many revius you have in your cup, since the essential kois that the chazal were mechaev for, um, Kiddush is a revius. You just have to drink mm-hmm. revius no matter how big your cup is. Maisa, Pesach is different. Pesach, there is a shita which holds that you have to, Chazal did not tell us to drink a revius. Chazal said it's Masak to drink four cups. Yes, the minimum cup is a revius. But they Masak are not to drink a revius. They Masak to drink a kois, a cup. A cup has no shear to it. You can have a huge cup. People have big kais to show you, you can have a very big cup. So it depends on the size of your cup. Whatever the size of your cup is, that's what you have to drink. So you have to aim to drink all of it. And if you can't, you drink rave of the cup. Rave of the cup, not rave of the cup. What is this? Rave of the cup. Because since the cup has no definitive measure to it, the kois. It's ad l'mayla ad in shir. It depends how big your cup is. You can have a bowl as your cup, right? And how big your cup is, that's how big your shear kois is. So you can go always higher. There's no shear to it. There's no mathematical number to it. So then we can apply the concept of the roif. Allah l'mayla pesach. If someone can't do it, you can be makel to drink just like you drink by kiddush or roif revius. But l'chatchila, they say they try to drink the whole kois. Not the whole kois. You drink roif kois. And the next level is to drink Roiv or is just like Kiddush a whole year. No matter how big your cup is, you can drink 1.5 ounces, a smaller shear, and he yoits it. And getting back over here to our dinim here, Benegea Mingim. So Lamaisa, now he goes on further out to to take this whole idea further to other situations where we start off with 10, as long as you have, even if the 10, not all 10 stayed, but you as long as you have Roiv still there, you can continue. Tap a page, Kuf Tzadik Vav. V'hu adinim hoyu asara ve'amidis P'sukit Zimra. You started off P'sukit Zimra, Baruch She'omar, you started off with ten people. Oi ve'amidis ash shrei shilifnei tefilis yitches. 
<coughs> Mincha. He started Ashray before Mincha with ten people. <laughs> before the Kaddish of after Yishtabach, before the Kaddish after Mincha, people left the room. They ran out for some reason. <laughs> You're not allowed to start Kaddish without ten people. This is not a minig. These two Kadeshim are from those seven. These are seven which are Achiev. They're part of the obligatory Kadeshim. So why should we apply the rule that if you started Baruch Shammar with ten, I should be able to finish and say Kadesh. I started Ashray, I should be able to finish and say Kadesh. Mikovah can still know Kivin Shalayuch Olayma Baruch Hu. Since you're not going to be able to say Baruch Hu afterwards, since you're not going to say the Baruch Hu following Yishtabach without ten, or the Shemanesri after Mincha, you're not going to say the Chazar Shatz with Kamoy Shisidu Chacham like Chacham set up the Tefillah. In such a situation, the Kaddish reverts to becoming a Minig. In Kaddish, the Klal, Choyve Klal, it doesn't become a Chiv at all. There's no such a Kaddish. Chazal never created such a Kaddish. There should be Asher with a Kaddish. No, there was an Asher with a Kaddish and then a Mincha afterwards. But if you're not able to say a Mincha afterwards, because you don't have ten, so you can't say the Kaddish either. Chazal and Mesach and a Kaddish, a Kaddish after Pesuk of the Zimra, after Yishtabach, with a Baruch after. If you're not able to say the Baruch because you don't have ten, so just because you start a Pesuk of the Zimra ten, it's not going to warrant saying the Kaddish after Yishtabach without ten. Because now that Kaddish is no longer for the Kaddish Hacham. Chazal never set up such a Kaddish. A Kaddish without a Baruch Hu after? That's not the Kaddish that Chazal envisioned. Shatakon and Sachama is a loimer Kaddish of Baruch Hu smuch and zel azeh. And we times, and that's the reason why also the half sip in Eim Shemin, because she's Baruch Hu Simen Nadal. In the earlier Simen, the last Simen, we learned that it's also the massive between Yishtabach and Baruch Hu. Kaddish and Baruch Hu. Because it's all connected. We always start Kaddish with a Shemanesse with a Kaddish before. But if you're not able to say Mincha, because you don't have ten, you're not going to say that Kaddish. So at Kan. So the Mai says that by size, we have to recall when we have this Heter. The Heter is like this. The heter is during Shachris, if you started Shemun Essay, very big heter, you started Shemun Essay Shachris with ten people, meaning the Chazar Sashatz. You started Chazar Sashatz with ten people, you can continue the whole entire Chazar Sashatz, even if people left, and you could say Volatzian, and you could say Kaddish after Volatzian, without a minion. How about Belachash? If you start Belachash, it's not, that's not and enough. And you look around and you see three, le- four left. So that's not enough. That's not enough for Chazar Hashatz. Chazar Hashatz you need to have the actual Chazar Hashatz needs to start. The Chazan starts saying it. Bekoil Ram, Barach Ata Hashem, Lekena Melech Olam. There's ten people in the room. Then four, up to four people walk out of the room. They're not supposed to, but if they do walk out, it's an emergency. But even before Kedusha, you can say Kedusha. Maidim, you could say uh, Kaddish after Volatzin, all just because you had the time when you started Shemesi. The same thing is by Mincha. If by Mincha you had during Chazar Sashatz, you had 10 people. Or in general? General. You had 10 people by Chazar Sashatz by Mincha. If 10 people, if people left, you could say the Kaddish after Mincha, the Kaddish Sholem. Is connected to uh, Shemanesrei. You can say that Kaddish. Same thing, Mayriv. If by by Mayriv you have two parts. If you have in the beginning of Birchas Kriyishma, in the beginning of Birchas Kriyishma, they were they were there. There were people there. You could say the Kaddish after Birchas Kriyishma. Baruch Hashem Shem Rami Salad. You know, you can say that Chatsi Kaddish, but you can't say after Shemanesrei anything more because Birchas Kriyishma helps for itself. So if you had ten people by Birchas Kriyishma. You can say the Kaddish after Kishna. In Mayriv. And same in Mayriv, you started Shmanesa in Mayriv with 10, and this can happen often, then you could say the Kaddish Shalom after Shmanesa without 10 people. How many people? 
up to four people can leave. As long as you have Rav and the Minyan there, six people, majority. Now, but you say, by the way, It's a lot of times in the game by Mayrif, someone could be walking out and it's Migim at Sumsum, he doesn't have sich, that there's no 10 people without him, and he walks out, you're allowed to say that first Kaddish. You're now allowed to say the Kaddish after Lenu, that's a minic, that you can't say. Okay, weiter. Sif Hey. Someone was mentioning before about being Mitzarif women, the Maisha was a you. Oh no. Someone that. Sif Hey. Sif Hey. Yesh Matirin. There are those that are Matir. Loimer Dovashe Kedusha, you cannot have a minya of ten women. That has to be ten as a chorim. But some are matir to say a Dovashe Kedusha with nine men, with Siruf Eved the Ishe Cotton, and the tenth can be an Eved the Ishe or Cotton. Wow. We shall call Asara Bnei Bris, Ashkina Shaira. Any ten Yidden, Ashkina Shaira. Where's the Dovashe Kedusha? Kedusha, Bar- Kaddish, Kedusha, Baruch. Oh, all these things. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Wait, say that. You would say that and not learn. One minute, one minute. We gotta finish. <laughs> Ella, Sheini Kvoi Shemayim, Loim Merdavash Kedusha, but Parchas we taz b'nei mitzvus. Shetaz nidim kasora. You take have ten people. The Shechina Shoyer, even if they're women or they're Ketanim, even. Any ten neshamis, any ten neshamis, ten yidden have neshamis, and the shechina's in the room. But it's not kavodik for shemayim to say it without ten people that are obligated in all the mitzvahs, that are obligated in the mitzvahs. It's the men. But nine looks like ten. Nine does not seem like as, as a covet issue. Nine and ten, you can't see the difference. Eight and ten, it's a chiluk. You see a difference in the room. Nine, a lot of times people think nine is ten. However, that cotton that you want to be mitzvah, when you only have nine people, cotton has to be at least six years old. To be gila he knows to who he's davening to. Sheparches mi ben sheish less than six. After pishi yidei, even if he knows who he's davening to, in daite kulm his mind is not it's worthless what he thinks. If he's not a bandas, even if he's a smart kid, you're not six, you have to be Sai six, and Sai, he knows who he's davening to. Then that, that cotton is allowed to be the tenth. <coughs> However, no. There's no situation, all, whenever an Isha ever cotton, even, even as a tenth, they cannot participate. You call us Sarah's Chorim Bnei Chorim Gedolim. You have ten men, Bnei Chorim, free men, Aravodim, Gedolim, adults, Shivir Bey Sidus. Apachas Mikain, less than this, Ein Hashchina Shoida. Shchina is not rest. You have the people that are Chayiv and Mitzvahs. Ein Oyim and Davashi Bekdusha, you don't say Davashi Bekdusha. I feel like they say for Torah, should be at a cot in the Sarah. Even if the cotton is going to sit there holding a safe for Torah, and being the tenth person, it's not going to help. So who is that halacha like? Who is the ikker like? The ikker, the ikker halacha is like the second opinion that when I let him start for the cotton. However, let's finish the sif. The afa became still and all, since you have the first opinion. Therefore, in limb case, one does not need to protest when one sees people not acting like the ikker halacha. But oisin shenoygin lahaka b'shasat chak. Those that are maker when there's a shasat chak. Only when it's an extenuous situation that they're makol, the tsar fight to use a cut and a day chumash of a yadi, if you're holding a chumash, or if you're below chumash, without a chumash, because the first opinion, remember, did not mention anything about the cut and having to hold a chumash. So even the cut and not holding a chumash, you don't need to make a macha to protest if someone does this. Since they have shitas that they can rely upon, 
even that's not the main halacha, but when it comes to the chi machot, the protesting, I don't have to protest if they have who they're relying on. Mikol Mokim, still know those, those who make, who are doing such a mingin, using the cotton, holding a chomish, not holding a chomish. Lo yoimru el abaruchu v'kadesh shurchiyuv. She only say things that are chiyuvim. The kadeshim which you're chayiv to say. Av aloi kadesh acher aleinu she'en aminik. But not the kadesh after aleinu, which is not from the seven chiyuvim. So in my sila poil, one should not do this. And there's a letter from the Rebbe also saying that one should not rely on this. However, what happens if you have, let's say, maybe a shliach somewhere, and uh, he has a certain situation? You know, and it could be a situation where it's a it's a real fast chak. So maybe maybe there's what someone what for someone to rely upon. Well, he'll feel like the minion will fall apart because uh, you know in this town over here, if you're not going to have the minion, people are not going to come back anymore. So maybe in a certain situation, there's room to be mekel. But from the Alter Rebbe himself, does not give any room to mekel. He just says you don't have to be moicha on someone who does it. But mm-hmm. but. Again, you have to always remember that anyone who does do this would, would not be able to use this out to say for a, a Avil to say his Kadeshim. <coughs> because those are not, those are not the Chiyuvim. So a person a lot of times feels that maybe for a Avil he needs to do this, it doesn't help for the Avil. Uh-huh. Even for the ones who are ma- were Mekel, we're only able to Mekel for something that's Chiyuvim. You want to say a Kedusha, a Baruch you want to say one of the seven Kadeshim that's a Chiyuv, from Shachas and Minchamayev, okay. But not more than that. A woman gave birth. She allowed to say gomer. She has to when say gomer. No, when they're reading the Torah here and she's up there, she can say gomer in the front of. Uh, she doesn't woman. need to say with uh, with uh, the, the by the kriya. by the kriya. The Torah is only a minig. Even for, for men, the men, even for the men, could say without. You have to say with a minion. But most people are looking for sefer Torah to say. The, she could say uh, on the other side, but but the minig is that women don't. Uh, she doesn't obligate for ten women. I'll tell you. Uh, many get What's a lot Chabad? of a lot of play, many Chabad, most Chabad women don't don't say Hagoyim at all. No, it's a question why the Alter Rebbe and Shulchan Aruch clearly mm-hmm. passes that she has to make. She <laughs> went through a Sakana, right? Yeah, the big Sakana. So it says clearly that a Yeladis has to make has to say Hagoyim. You do have some people that said. My my wife's grandmother uh, told me once, uh, uh, Allah Shalom. She told me that she remembers in Bar Park. She davened in in the shul in Bar Park, Rabbi. Simpson al Shalom was the Rav. Now who, his son-in-law, who was? Who? Rabbi Rosenfeld is the Shul. Mm-hmm. So his father-in-law used. To, he took over his father-in-law. His father was the, sh- the Rav of that Shul, Rabbi Simpson, who was the secretary of the Fidik Rebbe and the Rebbe in the early years. Not, he was secretary of the Fidik Rebbe, Maskir, and by the Rebbe he also had a lot of positions, very chashaviyid. And he said he told her you have to say Hagoyim. So the minute Chabad is not so clear, but today majority of women in Chabad. Do not say it, and different reasons given. It's not only Chabad; other places too. Different reasons given because the people say katat sneis. Women were not noig. Uh, the husband can say kaddish for the woman. For but I've been in shuls where women come to that uh, the ladies section and not not doing kriya, but they, the women came and said. The husband can say kaddish well, for his wife. Why they could say it anyway? The, the, okay, what? The husband can say gomer for his wife. She gave no, birth. No. To say only only you could say only one can only say gomer for oneself. Yeah, my husband and By the way, a child a child doesn't say hagoyim. The same thing. A child doesn't say hagoyim. Hagoyim lachayovim toivis. The eibishter is goyim chasadim to someone who's obligated toiv. There's no the cotton has no chiyuvim. The cotton no chiyuvim. Language doesn't stem, yeah. There are a lot of things, you know, in Shulchan Aruch it says that women have a chiv to daven. So machloikis, there's a machloikis about davening if women are chayiv to daven like the men. Oh, really? Yeah. One sheet is, one sheet in the Shainim is that women is just say a short tefillah every day and they're yoytzim and atoyra tefillah. Because a chiv and atoyra just to ask for something. They can say a uh, bracha, say something, uh, they can say, 
say something. So most women say something in the morning. That yeah, yeah. Feel like to, in yeah, the the but the other sheet is that no, in Shachris and Mincha, the women are mechuyiv the same like the men. The Chayiv and Al Tarebbe writes and Al Al Tarebbe Shachan Aruch says that the first he brings the first sheet that's made. He says the women are noyig like the first sheet. Huh? When he brings the second sheet that they're Chayiv, and he says that's the Iker. But what, what, yeah. what, what, women in Europe were davening? Women that didn't go to schools. They didn't daven, they were rabbits in daven, you know, there was, most women didn't know how to daven, they weren't davening, and, and the women didn't daven, they were mekel, the minig was, like the Altar writes, the minig was, they were mekel. So now, today, everyone go, they go to Beis Yaakov, they go to the Beis Rivka, wherever schools they're going to, Beis Rachel, they, so they learn how to daven schools, well, and some of them know how to daven better than the men, <coughs> but the... Uh, a woman has to know that in certain situations, if she's in the household and she has a lot of children and, and, and different situations come up, she has to know there's another opinion. And Europe, her, her grandparents and her grandmothers and great grandmothers weren't, weren't exactly diving shachas and mincha every day. It wasn't the minute. Even in America, the older ladies are not medayik. <laughs> And dabbing like the younger ones, which oh, are really? dabbing. Yeah. You know, in, in the my story that we had last Shabbos, there's a Rebbe's and uh, the Rebbe said she she encouraged her to dabbing. The Rebbe told her dabbing. Well, my <laughs> they don't dabbing for sure. Mm-hmm. Look, they definitely should dabbing, but the thing is that they, 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 they have to know that the situations that come up. You know, Shalom Bayi situation, different thing in the house, they have to know that they're, that's not their Iker thing. They have, they have other Yonim. They have to ask for Sorry, I can't just say Moida, honey. Okay, Richtig, you have to, Shabbat Moida is not enough. They have to say Tzfilah. Sorry, if that's the Iker in your Tzfilah. If they say Brachas, they say Tatsileinu Hayoi, Me'azifonim, Me'azifonim, they say Tzfilah. Right. They say Tzfilah. You should say Taka Tzfilah, you're right. You should ask for something. In Yiddish, it could be, it could be in English. It doesn't have to daf. It could be. Uh, With, they had the Tzadar Rana. Right, the different Tzadurim, the Tzadar Rana Tzadur, and different Tzadurim that with Yiddish explanations and. But they're not going to change the, the the strict. How I mean, you said the Ikra, then they should daven, and today they do learn how to daven. Right. Nothing's going to really change. to say they forced to daven. No, no. We're, 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 listen, the girls are trained to daven, and they all daven. The question comes more when they. When they, when they get married, they have a lot of children, there's a lot of obligations. It, 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 that's when the issue comes where there's sort of like a, there could be reason, reasons for them to some con- a contradiction. All along with their girls, of course they have time, they should be davening. What should they do? Go watch a movie? They should be davening. <laughs> so they should be davening. It's Hashem. They have time with their hands, and they should be davening in the morning and let them get up and daven. But if there's a coming up situation where there's reason for them, to push it off. The legitimate reason is because she's doing gavaldic things with her children and a bnei bayis. So whatever she could do, she does. She'll say a tefillah. She'll say a few tefillahs. She'll do whatever she could. Whatever she could, she'll do. But she has to know that there's another shita, which the minig was to rely on that shita all the years and in Europe, and everyone relied on that shita. And all the babas relied on that shita. Today, you go in the subway, you see a lot of religious women. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. thing. Today's days, we can't go back. We can't have women not diving, not learning, because that's not good. Because the women are, are, are intelligent. The women are going to college and they're getting degrees and they're going and they're studying. And so they're going to say that when it comes to secular education, they're, they're getting a great secular education. In whatever schools they are, they're getting great secular education. And when they're going to learn Torah and, and that's going to be cheap? No, it has to be. They should, mm-hmm. be, they should have a sophisticated relationship with Hashem and, and they should not, they should dive in and they should learn and they should understand. As much as we, as much as there is a lot of sure women, my, my my a lot of women, there's a lot of women that know better than the husbands. My niece is, <laughs> my niece is a PhD in Gemara. Huh? Do, the, do they have the whole, the whole Indian of Limnat Torah that they, that they, they, they have that? that no, that Indian of Limnat Torah is a Shalom Halachas Atzvichas. They, they can't be Davik Bashev from Limnat Torah like a man can. Well, <laughs> it doesn't apply to them. They don't have that. No, no. Yeah. The reason why we, the reason why G'dayli Yisrael are matter limit had Torah for Nashim. I mean, a lot of G'dayli, not all G'dayli Yisrael. But they can't have. Chavetz Chaim, Chavetz Chaim, the Imre Emes, the Gerda, the Fidi Kilmav Shereba, were all already in Europe. Were matter the Beis Yaakovs and studying was because of the matter of the Doyer that traditionally women didn't study. You're right, and the majority of women didn't study, but because of the matter, women were becoming. A lot of other influences, if you want to combat it, it's with Torah. A person doesn't have any Torah and is only hearing uh, secular Goyish Hashkafist, then what's there to combat? What's the one for the ladies to combat it? 
And there's nothing there. So they learn Torah, they feel connected, and they have Hashkafas a Torah. That's the way they stand up again. So that's, but the Reinu, you know, most schools are that way. You know, in Satmar, they're still very medayik, that they'll have very, very big limitations as to what they learn. Uh, the Kloisenberg Rebbe is a very sharp tshuva. She writes the Kukvay the Hachafetz Chaim and Kaimim Munach, but the Hachafetz Chaim can't go against the Torah, and the Torah, the Gemara says clearly the women can't learn, and therefore he's a, he, he doesn't he doesn't feel it was right that he did it. So 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 they have a, a very very limited version, but in, exactly. in other moistus and most most moistus in the world, girls are are they're not sitting learning Gemara, but they're taught a lot a lot of in Yonim. Even things are not halacha lamaisa, which they have to know strictly, but this is all in order that the, the women should be more involved. And it's very, and it's very but important learn, today. It's not the way, the way a man learns in terms of kedusha. It's, it's, it's a totally different ballgame for them. They have a rabbi saying, Yemima Mizrahi from Israel, when you hear how she speaks, better than all the rabbi I ever heard. <laughs> there are a million women all over the world listening to her. And she gives, it's unbelievable how she speaks. Rabbi no, Tzayin, no. Imi Ma Mizrahi. What Rabbi Tzayin Azar? That you just mentioned. A perfect example. The, 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 the way they presented it, it's, they're, they're admitting subtly that it's not the ideal state. That the ideal state is that women should be ignorant. And like... like a, not in our days. Not, not, I, again, uh, they're, they're saying that the, now, say. what's nowadays is not the ideal state. So I'll tell you. The ideal state, according to them, is that women should be ignorant. Who's that? Who's that? And and, uh, and uh, not ignorant, but they have to learn certain parts of Torah Mashal. Torah Mashal. They they have to learn all the halachas that they need to know, which is a lot of halachas, right? Wow. They have to all the three. Shabbos. They, they have been one time expressed and saying that halvai yeah. all the all the men would be bucky in, in the mitzvahs that the women are chayiv to learn. <laughs> yeah, they, so it, 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 they're really it, it, obligated a lot of halachas, I know, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. But the shayos to learn things they're not chayiv. They're not chayiv in other parts of Torah to learn Torah l'shma. To learn just Torah is not chayiv as to halacha. The, ch- the Rabbanim were mad to it. Those in the Yonah, they were mad to it. That's true. Okay, so now when it comes to the mitzvot, the things they have to do. So, women are not chayav in mitzvot. I say she has a man grama. Now, if you count how many mitzvot fall into that category, you can count those mitzvot on less than ten fingers. What? But closer to five. Yeah, but it's all the lois I think. So closer to five. Lois and, co- and, and, and among them is also things like Yerach Shemaim and Ahavat Hashem, which require a lot more study than just halakha. So that's to another do point. This, that, do that, uh, do this, do the Rebbe was actually that the woman, woman should learn Chassidus. She learned Sifrim also oh, okay. because she's Chayiv and Avas Hashem, Yerush Hashem, okay. Achtus Hashem. So the etzim is, if you look at it, the women's chayiv and a lot to learn. The argument, the argument's really the MS. And women crown heights. They learn. And they're sharing for them. And, and not, not only yeah, that, but woman, even in the Talmud, the I think who's yeah, the Ben, ben Azai says yeah. that women, some of the to teach his daughter Torah just like a son. It's not such a simple thing. It's not the halacha. No, it, it depends on when you say it's not the halacha. It depends when you say something is the halacha or it's not the halacha. It depends who you ask. Like you, 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 you say something is the halacha, you're talking about what the Lubavitchers say. You talk to no, someone no, else. No, no, this is a Muslim. No, but it's not necessarily Muslim. Like you learn it in Tanakh that it says, So the girls are also going to have Nivala. Okay, so I'm saying she, she, she couldn't have had, you can't have Nevoa if you don't have a, a very deep understanding of Nevoa, but she was not included in the Mingan. She couldn't okay, have it as a shift. You, you, you're confusing issues. That has it's a different issue. Nevoa is a different thing. Oh, no, no, but I'm saying that's to with learn no, knowledge. You, you can't have Nevoa unless you understand that Sina wrote it. I, have, the, I don't uh, have Nevoa, so I'm not, really, I'm not there. I don't know how you have Nevoa, but the Nevoa is a special thing. I don't know. It's a different Ingen. It's not the Ingen of Limanat Torah. Nevoa is not Limanat Torah. There are many big Tamil to Chachamim, Shemen is Goinim. They don't call it Torah Kula, but they have no Shaykhs to Nevoa. It's not. Uh... No, okay, but, but Nevoa, there's a special thing about Nevoa. You have to have to learn it. Like you learn, uh, there, there are Sifra Kabbalah we're talking about. How the, the Nevi'im, they used to have schools for the Nevi'im. Like the Nevi'im, they described in the Sifra Wachim.